All right, welcome guys to Phuket, Thailand. This morning we find ourselves here at Koron Beach. And this is uh, one of the most famous beaches. There's uh, a lot of people that come here. Uh, Patong Beach to the north is the, like the most famous beach on uh, Phuket. But this one is a very, very popular place for tourists to come and see. Anyway, uh, we're gonna walk around and we're gonna kind of check out the area a little bit and I'll show you what the beach looks like. I've been to this beach many times and I always enjoy coming here. So let's see what we see. So this is Corone Beach. And I cannot tell you how amazing this beach is. It's, uh, the sand is amazing. It actually, like the sand has this weird feel and it makes like a weird sound like when you walk. It kind of is like the, uh, like your, uh, I don't know, like tennis shoes on a gym floor. It's just uh, the weirdest sand. It's, uh, I've seen a couple other beaches like it, but uh, it, this one here was the first time I ever uh, seen sand like that. Anyway, you can see how, how beautiful this beach is. So this is Caron Beach, and it goes all the way up there to those trees. And uh, then it has the little, uh, like the beachfront road that goes here. And it kind of Ys, and it goes back over towards the other side of the island. And then it, uh, it extends down probably, I would say, like four kilometers or so. And it goes all the way down there, and you can see those that resort and those trees. And that's the break between Caron Beach and Kata Beach. And Kata Beach is uh, broken up into two. They have Kata Beach and then Kata, like Noi, I think. So uh, anyway, this beach here is definitely uh, top 10 beaches in my mind. It's, uh, it is beautiful. You can see the ocean has kind of the turquoise color to it. Gotta get out there swimming. I think the tide is on its way out right now. They have some flags up. I'm telling you you can swim in this area. But I think the tide is starting to uh, go out. But you can see there's tons of beach, even with uh, where the water's at right now. And then you can see some of the, like the small little island over there. Now Phuket itself is the largest island in Thailand. It is gigantic. When you first come onto the island, if you come in by car, you cross a bridge onto the island. And then, uh, I don't know, you're still 60 kilometers away from Caron Beach from uh, the north of the island. It's quite a ways. And it's so big that people actually don't even consider this an island anymore. They just call it Phuket, even though it's Koh Phuket. And it has some uh, really popular beaches, Kamala Beach, Kata, Patong. Patong is uh, where all the, the main nightlife goes on. Now they've uh, added these trees and stuff. They have all these palm trees. This wasn't here when I first came down. I came down not too long after this area was all hit by the tsunami and there was none of these hotels here. In fact, the hotel I stayed in was to the north and it's since been uh, demolished and built into uh, a really fancy five-star hotel in that area. But this beach, the sand is perfect. The water is perfect. And the area is pretty cool. You can walk along the, uh, the beachfront road up there. And they have a few restaurants and stuff like that and you can watch uh, the sunset. This is a great beach for the sunset. On the other side of the island is the sunrise. And then there's plenty of places that, uh, like if you wanted to take some boat tours, there's lots of tours from here. So most of the hotels have, like if you wanted to go to Maya Bay or James Bond Island or somewhere like that, they have a lot, a lot of places you can find a tour to go.
Now, over the last probably five or six years, they've uh, let these trees grow back on the back of the beach. They're trying to make it a kind of a breakwater, I think, for uh, maybe like a like a super high tide or like a tsunami or something like that. Because this area was hit by the uh, the tsunami. Whenever that hit Phuket and uh, Pana, there was quite a few uh, Thais and foreigners that were killed here in this area. And after the tsunami, the uh, Thais wouldn't come down here because there was, uh, you know, the Thais really believe in like ghosts and they were afraid of the ghosts that were down here. So uh, oh, this guy, it's like he got a bite on his fishing pole. He comes running over. Let's see if he caught anything. So the, uh, the area was just basically like abandoned by the Thais for uh, quite a while. And then they started coming back in and uh, rebuilding everything. And there's quite a few like tsunami warnings. Like uh, they have siren towers built and they have a lot of signs telling you like the tsunami evacuation route. But that tsunami did a lot more damage to Indonesia and uh, also to uh, Sri Lanka. Let's see what he's got. It looks like he's got something here. It's a long old fish. Let's see if we can get over there and see what it looks like. He was pretty excited about it. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna carry it up. Oh, good for him. He's got uh, he's got some dinner. Yeah, I can't tell you how nice this beach is. It's uh, such a great environment. I've been here many times. I've brought my family here. Everybody has a good time. The hotels and everything. I haven't stayed at a bad place. The uh, the one we're at now, staying there, it's like twenty two dollars a night, right on the beach, and has uh, breakfast included. The tourism still hasn't recovered. I came down here last year, uh, probably about a year ago this time, and there was nobody on this beach. I was the only one on this beach and almost all of the hotels were closed. In fact, there was uh, there was only two people at the hotel. So there was, uh, it was it was a shame. They were begging for people to come. So the, the tourism has recovered a little bit, but there's still quite a few places that are closed. It's not near like it was, uh, before the uh, the outbreak so uh hopefully that these uh, hotel operators and tour operators and everybody can uh, start getting their livelihood back in order again and uh hopefully more people can come and enjoy this this is really a, a nice part of thailand yeah so you could come here and spend all day on the beach chairs if you wanted do some beach combing do some fishing there's a guy up here with the net Quite a few people are swimming. Now, if you go down to Kata Beach, I think there's a little bit more like surfing down there. And then at Patong Beach, I think they have a lot more of the jet skis, probably like the parasailing and all of that. But I don't see any of those activities being set up on this beach. This guy's getting his net ready. like you got anything i'll have to try again so these are the fish that he's been catching they're, uh, they say that they're delicious to eat and try again he said mostly what he's catching is these jellyfish and he did catch one in his net and he tossed it out right there people out swimming yeah there's a lot to do on this beach me, I just like to walk around the beach, see what all it looks like, feel the ocean, feel the sand on my feet. To me, that's about as good a day as you can have. I mean, I come from Colorado and we're 
very far from uh, the oceans there. So it's always nice for me to be able to come and see this. And looking towards the inner part of the island, they do have a few hills, not a whole lot. There's farming and stuff north. And then on one of these little hills, they have the Big Buddha. And I'll try to make my way over while we're on this trip up to the Big Buddha and uh, make a video up there for anybody that hasn't seen it yet. All right, guys, that finishes up our video here at Coron Beach. Hopefully you enjoyed it. This is one of my favorite beaches to come to in Phuket. I, uh, I just really like this one. Uh, Kata Beach, this one, it's kind of tough to say which one I like more. Both of them are so nice. Anyway, if you like the video, click like and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. I post a lot of content, so if you want to be advised when I post a new video, the subscription is the best way. And if you uh, have been here before, leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think about Corone Beach. And if you want me to do something different, tell me also in a comment. Say, hey, uh, go over there and make a video of this or go make a video of that, and I will do my best. And as always, guys, remember, life is a journey. Enjoy. Enjoy.